For TCL, there are three stages for our global journey. First stage is the exploration stage. You may still remember that in 1997 and 1998, there was an Asian crisis. At that time, our international business is mainly uh, the processing uh, and export business. And after the Asian crisis, the value of uh, the uh, a lot of Asian currency uh, dropped. And that greatly affected our business activity. And I realized that uh, even though our products were already sold in the international market, but uh, you didn't have uh, customers uh, overseas. You did not even have the chance to meet with uh, your clients. Uh, you just knew some um, agencies or some big brands, and you manufactured for them. You did not control the channel at all. You didn't have access to market. So with the financial crisis, we were strongly uh, impacted, affected by that. After that, we realized that we need to think seriously about internationalization. And later, we started our first step of the journey in Vietnam. And then we extended our operation to India, Russia, Indonesia, and Thailand, etc. So gradually, uh, in the Southeast Asia and uh, neighboring countries, we set up our own system. And in this stage of exploration, TV was the main product. In this stage, though the sales revenue of those places are not uh, a big portion of our business, it uh, uh, built up experience for internationalization for us. And in 2003, we had an opportunity. At that time, uh, the TV business of uh, Thompson uh, wanted uh, to be sold, and uh, the investment bank came to me. And after half a year's uh, negotiation, then uh, on January the 28th uh, in 2004, uh, during President uh, Hu Jintao's uh, visit uh, to France, uh, we uh, formally signed the contract. And uh, in the same year, at the end of uh, April, we signed another contract uh, with Alcatel to acquire its uh, mobile phone business. These uh, two uh, large uh, uh, cross-border acquisition actually uh, helped us uh, to penetrate uh, into Europe and the United States within a short period of time. That uh, was also our objective. Before that, uh, our global strategy mainly focused on the adjacent uh, countries, the nearby countries. Well, for the largest markets of the world, Europe and uh, North America, we didn't have any business at all. So through the acquisition, actually, uh, we entered uh, these uh, two markets in a very strong manner. This uh, acquisition also uh, brought some uh, problems uh, to us. After the acquisition, we registered the loss. Starting from 1981 to 2004, uh, our company never had a loss, and uh, we uh, always increased uh, our profits uh, uh, year by year. So actually, at uh, that time, we had our first loss from 2004 to 2005. So uh, the total sales would be 100 billion, and 45 percent uh, would be uh, from uh, overseas sales uh, this year. So actually, uh, we uh, benefit uh, from uh, these uh, two large acquisitions in 2004. So now we have a very strong overseas uh, business. So this is uh, the right uh, strategic decision. And here is the goal for the next stage in the next five years. Starting from this year, we hope uh, that we will have uh, 200 billion sales revenue 
of which uh, uh, over uh, 100 billion uh, will be from overseas market. And we also want to improve our core competence and uh, profitability. With the 10 years internationalization, we have a, a global presence in major areas and cities, which includes our channels, customer service, and operation. We have uh, factories in eight countries outside of China. Our sales and service systems are already in uh, major markets around the world. Uh, we are relatively weaker in Africa, uh, where we need to catch up. Otherwise, uh, we have uh, uh, quite a big share in other markets. Our global journey tells me that uh, we need to be rational. We need to have our own judgment, but the more importantly, we need to be clear on strategy. Once you are clear on strategy, then you need to have the resolve. Be clear on strategy is very important, and it's very hard to be very clear in tactics. Difficulties and risks, especially potential loss, those things are very difficult to be very clear when you start to do those things. If I thought about all of these negative parts very clearly, then I would not uh, have done it. However, once you are clear about strategy, then you should be determined to do it. And that will help you to reach your goal. Tactically speaking, we made lots of mistakes. If we can redo it all over again, for sure we could find a better way with a lower cost. However, history cannot be rewritten. That's why I said that you need to be very clear on strategy. Because think about it, if I did not make that decision at that time, today we would never be the number three in color TVs. For Chinese business, um, there's still a long way to go uh, to get internationalized. Businesses like ICBC, Sinopec, PetroChina, and uh, Sinook um, are top businesses in terms of sales revenue. However, those uh, top businesses uh, are not very internationalized. That means there should be more or better um, integration into the world economy for Chinese business.